Clara. 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 <laughs> he is my secret. What I did, I did without choice. I know. In the name of peace and sanity. But not in the name of the doctor. Welcome! Got a couple of vaulted Funko Pops to open with you today. These were from a guy on Instagram, lovely chap. I've bought off him a couple of times before, and he'd put another sales post up on Insta saying that um, there was a certain collection of his that he'd just got in his wardrobe, I think, and um, he just wanted shot of it to make more space and um, basically listed a load of pops that he wanted to sell and I decided to avail myself of a couple and um, of course I'm talking about Daniel or Instagram Dan as I call him There's two pops in here, he did them for £40 all in, and there's something else in here as well that's not relevant to the pops at all, but um, a couple of days or so later he listed um, something else for sale, and I thought, yeah, I'll have that, because that was £10. Right, let's get into this very well taped up box. Looks like it's an old smuggler's bounty box, I'm trying to decide the best way to get in this. So as I say, these pops are vaulted. I think Dan has sold them for just under the TPD value, whatever that is. I don't really know, I just know this was a good deal. God, it's such a hard box to get into. And every time I've bought from Dan before, the uh, level of packaging that he provides is always second to none. He is a collector, so he knows the dealio. He knows the score when it comes to good packaging. We're in. Ah, right, I'll show you the non-Funko related thing first. Yeah, um, he bundled this in. It's the Joker on 4K Blu-ray. I've never seen that before. The last 4K Blu-ray I got, you would have seen in a recent video, actually. It was Zack Snyder's Justice League. But um, everyone always raved over how good the Joker film was, starring Joaquin Phoenix, Robert De Niro. I've never seen it. I just thought for £10 great price for a 4k blu-ray that i think dan's probably only played once so basically as good as new so yeah just thought i'd get that so uh, that's not really what i'm here to show you but for another 10 pound that uh, i paid him just a couple of days after i paid him for these pops i am happy ah great packaging let me get both these out just taking them at random really both in the same line let's close my knife up both in the same line, a line that I don't collect all of them in simply because it's the TV series that I still need to catch up on. I keep saying it and I will do at some point soon. But the first pop I'm going to show you is the 11th Doctor number 236 in the pop television, namely Doctor Who line. And this has got the Underground Toy sticker on it, so that's nice. I've got one or two pops in my collection with this sticker on, namely in the Doctor Who line. I can see K9 there has got this sticker on. The Matt Smith Doctor, the 11th Doctor, I have started, I started the 11th Doctor series. I've got to finish the first one. 
and I started a couple of the next one, I can't remember what numbers they are. So I did want to start getting some Funko Pops from around that kind of period. I know the companion ones, Amy Pond and Rory, they're really expensive. I did manage to get an Amy Pond rock candy quite cheap from Pop Culture not so long ago. But uh, here's the 11th Doctor, and this is the 11th Doctor with Fez. Dan was selling a couple of 11th Doctors, I think similar price for both. I only need one, as I'm one character per series. I said I like the Fez one better than the other one. I can't remember what that one was now. He did let me know there was a bit of box damage on the bottom, but I don't care about that. Look, you're never going to see the bottom. It's going in a protector, it's going on display. So that's perfectly fine. Let's get him out for a little bit and have a proper look. And here he is. Matt Smith's Doctor number 11. And as you can see, he's got a little fez on there, like Tommy Cooper. He's also carrying a mop in his right hand. Have I seen the episode that this is in relation to? If I have, I can't remember it. So I'm going to have to re-watch all the 11th Doctor, even though a lot of them I've not seen even once yet. But the ones I have seen, I'm probably going to have to re-watch at some point, uh, just so that I can kind of refresh my memory. Yeah, fez on his head, mop in his hand. He's got that sort of beigey brown blazer on and then a similar coloured shirt underneath, bow tie, brown trousers. I forgot how much brown this doctor actually wore to be honest. Because I think this was probably his regular outfit in the show. Got brown shoes as well. Really nice. What year is this pop from? Will it say? It's got the old Funko logo on it so... If I had to guess, I'd guess at something like 2016. So uh, that was the 11th Doctor. So we're sticking with Doctor Who. And this pop... I've not broken my rules as such here in buying a pop from a later series than the 11th Doctor era. But this one, he's been in 12th Doctor era stories. But I've only seen him in one, and that was the 50th anniversary special that would have been, what was that, 2013, was it? Something like that. That was the day of the Doctor, I think that was, where uh, David Tennant's came back, Matt Smith's was in. Um, it showed footage, sort of, of all the previous ones as well. And uh, this fella here, who you will have seen in the intro. I'm getting him out without even showing you the box. I'm too excited. I'm talking about the War Doctor, number 358. So this was the John Hurt played Doctor that, and I'm going to apologise that I can't really go into an awful lot of detail, but he was someone who was, I think, in between, in the continuity, the whole canon of Doctor Who, he was probably in between Paul McGann's, the 8th, and Christopher Eccleston, the ninth. but he hasn't got a number. He's like the particular Doctor who fought in the Time War, I think. I just thought, you know what, he's got this, and I've not really seen this anywhere. Not looked for it a lot, but um, I thought, you know, getting both of these, really, £20 each, was a really good deal. So, yeah, War Doctor, very happy. Right, I will get him out now. So, played by the late John Hurt. John Hurt, for those who don't know, was born in uh, the town in which I was born. He's a Chesterfield guy, or was a Chesterfield guy, I should say. So here he is, John Hurt, the War Doctor. He's got a quiff going on there. Like I said, I've only seen him in one episode. It was that 50th anniversary one. So I've not seen anything that precedes it. And did I say he was a 12th Doctor era character? He wasn't, because obviously Peter Capaldi only made his very brief debut in that one. It was still the Matt Smith era at that point. So I just need to watch it and properly catch up. There's so many other things I always have to watch. Yeah, I will get Doctor Who up to date eventually. But here he is, little goatee. He's got like a sort of trench coat on there. I'm not sure what that is underneath, like similar coloured shirt or maybe a waistcoat. We can see he's got a belt on there. There again, similar to number 11 there, he's very brown in his attire. I do like the additional wrinkles here, ones under his eyes, to show that this is a kind of older gentleman, a weather-beaten doctor, if you will. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, I don't know which one of these is my favourite, really. I'm just dead happy to get them both. As I say, the only Doctor Who pops that I've been collecting, I've got quite a few now. And if you've seen previous Doctor Who Funko unboxings, you'll know that. And if you haven't seen them then they will all be in my Funko collecting playlist over the past 
couple of years or so. I think I've probably been collecting them very sporadically. But they've all been characters from the 9th and 10th Doctor eras. And then there's been like a couple of classic ones. Like you've got the 4th Doctor, Tom Baker, of course. And you've got classic characters who've spanned all eras like Dalek, Cyberman. Uh, canines in there as well. Got some companions from the later ones. Got Sarah Jane, who of course was in the classic series, but she did make appearances in the more modern series, as well as having her own spin-off show. So um, brilliant stuff. Thank you very much, Dan L42, for these two Doctor Who pops, and of course for the Joker Blu-ray that I'm no doubt going to be watching tonight, as I've been wanting to see this film for a while and just being able to pick it up so cheap on 4K was the perfect excuse. Thank you everyone for watching this Doctor Who Funko Pop unboxing and I want to give special thanks as I always do to my subscribers and beautiful patrons. I've got all my Funko affiliates down in the description text box as always so please will you check them out, make yourself some savings, there's also affiliate links and codes for contents insurance as well there's my patreon link there's my facebook group link there's lots of tasty stuff right down there i'm gonna go now i'm gonna put war doctor john hurt and the fez wearing 11th doctor matt smith into atv pop protectors and find somewhere to display them in my doctor who display right here and i do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next funko pop unboxing Cheers, everyone. See ya! Let's come together.